Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray Star Goddess and I'm here to do your Virgo full moon and Virgo reading. Before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to this channel? Personal readings are available. Email me at divinelyguided2 at gmail.com. The full moon in Virgo is... Hold on. Will be February 24th. Okay, so the full moon in Virgo will be February 23rd and February 24th. We're going to see what Mr. Spirit has for the collective for this full moon in Virgo reading. For February 23rd, February 24th. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for this full moon in Virgo reading? Somebody could be researching, researching, studying, coming across profound information during this time. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? Oh, why keep saying for Virgo? What messages do you have for the collective for this full moon and Virgo read? That will take place February 23rd and 24th. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for this full moon and Virgo reading? I'm not going to take this one because it fell on the floor. We have the nine of wands. We have the lovers. The knight of wands. The page of swords. The nine of pentacles. The ten of pentacles. The ten of swords. The Queen of Swords. With the Queen Oops. With the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So for this full moon and Virgo reading. So collective. Um if you have a counterpart, whether this is like a twin flame or a soulmate, I see this person, um, somebody is holding back from you, collective, and what's weird about your person is that they the one, I, I feel as though your person did some things to you, right, but they keeping their distance from you, even though they hurt you. It, it's weird, like, it's like how your person perceived you. They looking at you like you're the bad guy and that you did something wrong to them. Even though your person, look at how your person showed up. Your person showed up as the Knight of, as the Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands with the Ten of Swords. So I feel like your person did a whole bunch of shit to you, right? But when they think of you, when they look at you, they feel as though you did something to them. In their mind, you did something to them. That's why they keeping their distance from you. Or that's why they have their guards up against you. Even though they hurt you. It's some shit like this that I got. <laughs> it's, it's a weird. Y'all person is a weird. And I heard standing their ground. And how your person feel. They feel like, you know, fuck collective. They standing their ground against you. Even though they the ones that's in the wrong. I have this out here too. And then um collective be aware. Be aware if you're dating somebody. I feel like this person is non-committal, non-committed. And be aware of trying to turn like a a, a hoe into a house husband or you have faith and you have faith that this hoe will change, <laughs> right? And I, I feel like this person 
I heard stuck in their ways. I feel like this person is stuck in their ways. They just not getting it. Whoever this person is, they don't take accountability for their actions, right? And they quick to blame other people for, like, their demise. Or they quick to point the finger at other people. Like, it's your fault that y'all not together. Y'all can't work things out. It, 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 how they look at you, they feel like you the one with the problem. You the one with the issue. But to be honest with you, the issue is your person. They have an issue with committing, <laughs> right? It's some weird shit like this. And then collective, I even feel like with the page of swords, this is my stalking, lurking, curiosity card. And it's like with my stalking card being out here, it's like your person got their nerves to have their guards up against you, but yet they still keeping tabs on you. They still wonder about you. They still talk about you. They st And they even have other people watching you for them too. I did a reading maybe a couple of weeks ago how your person got their family and friends um, keeping tabs on you. That's the energy I'm picking up on. Another message I'm getting collective, somebody... It's like a facade. I feel like to the outside world, your person, they portray like they don't want nothing to do with you. Fuck you. It's over. I don't want nothing to do with them, right? But behind the scenes, they still wonder about you. They still, I heard, care about you. They still wonder about you. They still care about you. They wonder if you're doing okay. They wondering if you ate today. What did you eat today? <laughs> it's some shit like this. Another mess I'm getting. I feel like your person, they know they did you wrong, but they don't want to admit it. They don't want to, because they don't take accountability. It's like they know they hurt at you. They know they did you wrong, but they don't want to admit to it. Be aware of this. I have a relationship with the Ten of Pentacles, with the lovers. So, what I'm getting ready to say, this is for people that's already in some type of commitment. Um, be aware of your actions. Somebody, I feel like somebody's in some type of partnership, right? Somebody's in a relationship, but they carry themselves like they single, Somebody act like they single, even though they're in a relationship. It's something about how a person act. I feel like this is why somebody um, is getting hurt and betrayed and backstabbed by their person. It's because of how I'm getting like a couple. And in this relationship, I feel like somebody is self-centered. It's all about me, 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 even though, because we got the lovers with the Ten of Pentacles, right? It's like somebody is uh, self-centered, self-focused or something, even though they're supposed to be in some type of partnership. And I feel like this is why it's issues in this partnership, because somebody, it's like one-sided. Be aware of being in like a, a one-sided connection and whoever's in a one-sided connection this is why their person I'm, I'm gonna just keep it this way I'm, I'm gonna say this is why it's issues in this relationship because I don't have the three of swords out here if I had the three of swords out here then I could say that's why it's infidelity going on but I don't have the three of swords out here so I'm not gonna say um, somebody is cheating I'm not saying that but it's definitely issues going on in some type of partnership and I feel like it's because somebody is self-centered they don't include their partner in plans they make decisions for the partner and they don't like give the partner a chance to voice their opinions their concerns give their inputs on things I, this could be like a woman you know like the independent woman a boss woman, they wear the pants in a relationship. Be aware of this. 
be aware of talking down to your partner or something like that. You know, making them feel less than. Be aware of being in a partnership. It's like y'all supposed to be equal, but somebody don't treat their partner as equal. Be aware of this. I have this out here too. Somebody may find some information out. Somebody may see something online. I feel like somebody going to find something online in regards to whoever they've been dating, seeing, sleeping with or something. Somebody going to find some information out on this Knight of Wands person. Could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius or a Gemini or Aquarius Leo Gemini person. Be aware of finding some information out in regards to this person. Um, what's the saying? You go searching for shit and you find it. It's a saying. Um, you're going to find what you're looking for. Be aware of finding what you're looking for. I see somebody going somebody gonna to actually find what they're looking for in regards to some type of connection they have with a player. Be aware of this. I have this out here, too. I see a woman keeping tabs on you. Spirit, who is this Queen of Swords? Who is this Queen of Swords? You know what? Spirit, who is this Queen of Swords? Ace of Wands. Something is going on. Spirit, give me another one for this uh, Ace of Wands and Queen of Swords. Somebody have an image. Another message I'm getting, whoever y'all been connected to, it's like this person has an image to maintain or to uphold, but really, somebody's like a lover boy, but they want to put this image like they a, a, a bad boy or that they, you know, have options, they a player or something like that. Really, somebody, this person, they want to be in love. Really, they want to be in love. They want to be in a commitment. But it's like their image, they're known for having multiple women or multiple men. It's like people know this about this person, but really, this person, they don't want to live like that. Really, somebody, they, they love love. They love relationships. They want to be lovey-dovey with somebody, with you collective. But uh, it's, it's some type of image. Like they known for breaking hearts. It's like they, and they think it, it, this is cool. Whoever this person is, y'all person, they feel like it's cool to break people's hearts. It's like they known for it. But really somebody is like a lover boy or a lover girl. Spirit, give me another one for this Ace of Wands and this Queen of Swords. Who is this person? Somebody going to speak what's on their mind, too. I see somebody speaking what's on their mind. They're going to tell it like it is. Somebody may get their feelings hurt by, um, by somebody speaking their mind and telling the truth. I have this out here, too. The Six of Cups. Be aware. Somebody neighbor. I feel like somebody neighbor is watching you. Keeping tabs on you. Watching you closely. Be aware of your neighbor. Spirit, who on the, the Page of Swords? 
something is going on with somebody neighbor. Be aware of your surroundings. Feel like your neighbor is worrying about you and meanwhile you don't care or you don't pay attention to your neighbor. Be aware of this. Another message I'm getting, if your neighbor is in a relationship, if your neighbor is in some in a relationship, they got a man or they got a girl or something, feel like they keeping tabs on you because they feel like they person is creeping around with you or <laughs> you messing around with they person. Be aware of somebody neighbor. Somebody neighbor feel like you, you like they man or you like they girl or something. Be aware of this. Spirit, who on the page of swords? Some with relationships and neighbors. The Four of Cups. Somebody's trying to catch you doing something, collective. Or another message I'm getting, somebody's trying to catch their person doing something. But they're trying to catch their person with you. Be aware of this. Somebody could have braids. It's definitely some type of spying going on. Group one, this is like your neighbor. Group one, this is a neighbor. Group two, this is a neighbor that's in a... Re oh, so, oh, let me say this. Group one, this is a neighbor and a single. For some reason, this person is watching you, keeping tabs on you. Another message I'm getting, if you have um, neighbors and they get packages, if they get packages and if people steal their packages, I feel like they don't know who's stealing their packages, but they suspect that it's you doing it. That's why they watching you closely. That's group one, if your neighbor is single and they get Amazon packages, Amazon, UPS, FedEx or something. And then group two, this is like a neighbor that's in a relationship. And this neighbor, they know like they person is a hoe and and they don't trust your person, and then they feel like they don't trust you neither. Like, I know my person creep over to Collective's house when I'm at work or something, right? So, group two, it's a neighbor that's in some type of uh, commitment, and they know their person is a hoe. And they feel like their person is messing around with you, but they haven't been able to connect the dots, so they haven't been able to... Uh, catch y'all together or they haven't been able to catch anything. I see people getting like falsely accused. Like, yeah, I know you mess with collective. I know you with that bitch. I know it. And the whole time they person with other people, <laughs> your person, I said your person. Ooh, I said your person. I don't know. I'm starting to pick it up on neighbors. Some going on somebody neighbors. Spirit poop on the nine of wands. Yeah, somebody neighbors are watching watching y'all closely or something. The Five of Cups. Whoever person um, portray like they a playboy and they known for breaking hearts and shit, um, it's, it's like hurt people hurt people. I feel like something happened in the past with your person and they not over what happened to them in the past with the Six of Cups, with the Six of Cups, with the Five of Damn, we got the Six of Cups with the Five of Cups with my uh, player card. 
like something happened to them in the past and they still holding on to past hurt. So it's like, yeah, hurt people hurt people. So it's like in the past, your person, they could have had like a first love. Something happened to them in, in high school or in college. They had a first love and the first love broke their heart. So since the first love broke their heart, they've been having, um, they've been out for vengeance towards, anybody they come in contact with or towards anybody they sleep with they hurt these people somebody get a thrill out of hurting people first before they get a ch before people get a chance to hurt your person and collective i feel like you could have been one of these people your person hurt however it's like your person they hurt you first to prevent you from hurting them Somebody classify like all women are the same or all, all men are the same. So they purposely go around just hurting people, breaking people hearts, right? But I feel like this stems from, I heard childhood. So something could have happened in their childhood. Like they mama could have disappointed them or something. So it's like since then, they never trusted women. It, it's some shit like this because I heard childhood. The mama could have did something and it's like now they don't trust women. All women lie. All women cheat. All women are whores. <laughs> Somebody have a, a mindset like that. Be aware of being with this person or dating this person or something. They already classified you as like everybody else. Spirit, put on the lovers. The hangman. With the hangman out here. I feel like your person or this person, whoever I'm picking up on, I feel like they do want to change because I did say this person, like, underneath the surface, somebody, they like a lover boy or a lover girl. They want to be in a committed relationship. They want love and happiness. They want to move into a house and have a family with a white picket fence. It's like they want all these things. But I feel like something happened to them in their childhood to where they took th their anger out on their lovers. Somebody take their anger out on whoever they date, whoever they come in contact with. I heard not your fault. Collective, if, if whatever happened between you and your person, just know it was not your fault. I feel like it stems from their personal issues and what they experienced in their life. So I don't want you to take blame or I don't want you to feel bad for whatever happened between you and your person. Your person really got issues, unresolved issues, especially from childhood with the, the six of cups out here. And y'all see a little child right here and a mama right here. Yeah, you know, how your person treated you and if your person hurted you, don't take it personally. Hurt people hurt people. That's just period, point blank. That's on game. Hurt people hurt people. Spirit, put one on Ten of Swords. I'm not going to take it because it fell. Spirit, put one on the Ten of Swords. Everything is fine. That's the same as the Ten of Swords. It's not fine. We got the, everything is fine. Same as the Ten of Swords. It is not fine. Somebody want to retire. I feel like your person, they want to retire from hurting bitches and lying of women and stuff. They want to retire. They want to be in love. But it's something they need to let go. They need to let go of the past. Somebody still hold on to the past like they still talk about the past they still ruminate and think about the past I feel like they still think about shit that happened to they happened to them in their childhood
until your person release the past, they will never have a fulfilled love life. Somebody love life is being affected by what happened to them in the past. That's just on period. Somebody gonna always have disappointments. Somebody gonna always have disappointments and love until they let go of the past. And this message is for, I don't know who this message is for. Um, I don't know if y'all have a, a mentality like, you know, on to the next. Or with this night of ones, maybe y'all person. Maybe they have a mindset like, on to the next. If that didn't work out, on to the next female. But the cycle's still going to keep repeating itself because it's like past her past trauma, right? And it's like somebody, they're going to keep experiencing, they're going to keep going through the same experiences, but just with, just with different bodies, just with different women, or different men, but it's still going to be like the same experience. It's still going to be the same letdown, the same disappointments and love because it's something that they have to resolve and heal on their own. Somebody have a mindset like, you know, I'm going to just on to the next. I'm going to just get with the next female. It's going to be it's gonna be different with the next female, but the outcome always the same. Somebody need to snap into reality. Reality is somebody need to look at themselves in the mirror and realize that they have issues. And it's okay. We all have issues. We all have insecurities. We all have flaws. Whoever I'm picking up on, when shit don't go right, when they have when they're experiencing disappointments in relationships, they quick to blame other people. But to be honest with you, I heard can't blame nobody but yourself. Whoever I'm picking up on, whoever I'm talking to, they can't blame nobody but themselves because they go through the same shit, the same experiences, just with different people. What's the saying? Same shit, different day. Yeah, it's like it's the same. It's the same experiences, but just with different people. Somebody going to have a disappointing love life. Somebody to be aware of this. Whether I'm talking to you collective or I'm talking to your person of interest, uh, an ex, a lover, a lover of yours, or whoever I'm talking to. Somebody need to have like a, a real nigga realization with themselves. <laughs> Whether if you a male or a female. Somebody need to be real and be honest with themselves and admit like, you know what? That shit, oh, yeah, Tamika cheated on me when I was 17 years old. And now I'm 34. Now I'm 42. Now I'm 50 years old. You know, it's time to let that go. Or Chris, if you a female, yeah, Chris hurted me. Chris lied to me. Chris cheated on me when I was 21. And now somebody like 48, 30 years old, 35 years old, it's time to let the past go. And be honest. It's time to be honest. Move on from the past. That's on period. And somebody going to continue to keep having the same, making the same mistakes in relationships thinking, you know, it's going to change because they've met new people. No. Change start within you first. Thank you. Bye-bye.